Well, this year, the city of Columbus has, has, one, has had 143 homicides, and that's 12 more than this time last year. That number makes it the third deadliest year in the city's history. Crime Tracker 10's Lacey Chris spoke with one group that's focused on reducing the number of homicides for 2024. The city of Columbus has broken the homicide record twice since 2020. One group is focused on not only decreasing the number of homicides, but getting it under triple digits. We ask ourselves, why haven't we been under triple digits? Because we haven't intentionally done something different. Had 143 homicides so far this year, it will be at least the third deadliest year in the city's history. It is absolutely devastating and it lets us know we got to go to work. In all of last year, there were 140 and the record 205 in 2021. The city hasn't had close to fewer than 100 since 2019. This is an initiative that says we can unify for the betterment of everybody. Melissa Thomas Sinclair is the founder of the nonprofit Mothers of Murdered Columbus Children a group she hopes see fewer new members next year with an initiative to reduce the number of homicides. We're going to break down the data by zip code. Where are our, our hot spots? What are we doing as an organization with our youth, with our young adults, with our partnerships? What are we already doing in those demographics? Her group is partnering with Columbus Division of Police, faith leaders, We Are Linden, and many more. The goal is that those groups use the data and information to do the work they're already doing, but in a more focused way. You're not taking 143 homicides now. You're taking those specific homicides, looking at what the data tells you about them and how your organization can insert yourself in that specific. And Thomas St. Clair says she knows that goal is ambitious, but she says the first step is believing that with help, the city can reduce violence. In Columbus, Lacey Crisp, 10